what's happening? How are you doing today? Thank you so much for being here. I am Chris, and this is the bonus edition episode of Podtastic Audio. On these little short bonus episodes, I deliver value directly to you in a tight, tiny little package. It's the bonus round, baby. So you know and I know that there are so many different ways to create content to share it out to the universe of people that are waiting to hear your amazing content. So over on the Chris and Christine show, when we do release a brand new episode, I always ask my mom if she has listened to the episode because she always listens to all the episodes. Now she has a later model iPhone. I think she has like an iPhone 13. And because she had an iPhone, she would listen to our podcast on the standard Apple podcast app, which is native to almost every single iOS device which makes it very easy and very simple for most people, especially podcasters like us, to navigate these apps. Hey, listen, if you are not subscribed to your own show in Apple, Spotify, whichever podcast player you like to use to listen to podcasts, you should always subscribe to your own show. At least this way you can know that when you push publish on your show, it actually works. But going back to my mom and asking her what she thought of the most recent episode And she said, uh, yeah, it was great. I liked it. I liked your guest. It was great. I liked what you guys are saying better. She doesn't always like the guest. She always says like, hey, I think what you guys are talking about, I was really into. The guest, eh, not so much. But then I asked her, I said, hey, um, just out of curiosity, which app do you like to use to listen to the podcast? I just assumed she was listening to it on Apple. And then she says to me, oh, I just listened to it on YouTube because it's there. The graphics are there. I, it looks like I can see you guys talking, even though it's not a video show. It's just an audio show. You see our logo. You see the logo of the guest, their image. It's all right there on the screen. So you can listen to it right there. And it's very easy to do. And it's like, that's very interesting. And the reason why I bring this up today, actually, there's two reasons why I bring it up today. Reason number one is that you really need to start making individual episode artwork for each episode you make, whether it's a picture of your guest, picture of you and your guest, picture of something you're talking about. That way there is a visual graphic to go along with the actual audio content. Now I'm specifically talking about audio only podcasts, because if you have a video style show, you're showing actual video, then the video graphic or the video itself would be on the screen. This way with that, when somebody is physically listening to your show, Usually I'm talking about like in YouTube here, the graphic for that episode stays constant on the screen. Now, wouldn't it be nice if they're physically listening to your show and looking at actual content at the same time? So you do not absolutely have to have a talking head show because she was telling me that, oh, it's like I see you guys talking, even though we're not really doing a video show. But because of that cool graphic that she's staring at while she's listening to the show, she can see what the guest looks like. She can see what we look like. And she can just imagine that we're all talking and having a conversation. That's something you're not going to get if you do not ever create new artwork for each individual episode. And the second part of this whole thing is that it's on YouTube, which is primarily a video platform. And that is okay. We are getting traction. We are getting listeners. We are getting viewers, so to speak, over there on YouTube. And at the end of the day, does it really matter where your content is? As long as your message, the thing that you're saying, your show is physically being consumed by the listener, the listener to your show has no idea where you host your podcast or do they really give a crap? They don't care. Why would they care? as long as they get to consume your wonderful podcast. It means nothing to them. In fact, another podcaster asked me, like, which media host is the best? Which podcast media host should I host on? Well, they all kind of do the same thing. And at the end of the day, your listener doesn't care. You know, as content creators, we get so sucked into our own world of like, how do we create? Creating, you're always thinking of how to create the thing and how to distribute the thing. But did you ever stop to think, like, how do people actually consume the thing? So if you ever have a chance to actually have a real conversation with a physical listener, you should probably ask them, like, hey, where do you listen to the show? 
Do you listen on YouTube or maybe you have a video style show, you watch it there, or maybe you do a live stream and people watch the thing live in real time. That could be a thing too. At the end of the day, it doesn't even matter how, it just matters that they physically consume your content. Now, no matter where you're physically consuming this content, wherever you're listening to this show, thank you so much for that. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, happy podcasting.